Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mikey Bustos here, bringing you another video. Uh, for today's uh, vlog, I wanted to talk about um, other idol shows, you know, and shows that are like idol, like competitions, um, and that sort of thing. I, I wanted to talk in particular about um, watching them. Now, I don't know if this is the case with the other idols or anyone out there who has been um, on idol but I can't I have trouble sitting and watching a full episode you know um, and there are certain reasons why I just I get I get too nervous you know uh, I what you see on TV is one thing it's it's you know suspenseful enough but behind the scenes there is so much going on that people don't see you know there's like certain pressures and drama that uh, people don't see and we always used to say you know you can create a reality show behind the scenes of the reality show <laughs> Do you know what I mean so you know when I try to sit and watch an idol episode um, especially the live shows like when they get to top 10 <laughs> When, as soon as I hear the theme music, -na 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 my heart starts to beat and I start to get really antsy. And, I'm, and then when I hear the crowd, you know, it just memories of like being backstage and going, okay, Mikey, it's another week. Here we go, you know. And then they're yelling at me, they're saying, 30 seconds, you're on, here's your mic, and I'm backstage going like this, going, trying to remember my lines, and, you know, thinking about, oh shoot, is this the right song, you know, and, you know, and some of us made the mistake of going online, and like, reading all the press, and reading like, you know, the forums, because whew, people are, they can be brutal, I'm used to it now, um, because I've been in the biz for a while, but, you know, at the time, these people are thrust into mass um, you know stardom and it's uh, it's a lot to take usually artists just kind of like steadily climb and they get you know acclimated acclimatized to um, the growing attention from media and from the public but these people on idol are just ordinary Joe Schmoes you know and they put their heart out on the line and week after week they <clears throat> perform and pretty much, you know, uh, just kind of have to go with the flow, you know, and it, we had to learn certain skills, like, as we were going along, so it was really a lot to take in, um, in my case, it was over the summer, from May till um, August, when the finale was. For instance, one of the things we had to kind of learn and pick up as we were going through the show uh, was uh, camera spotting. Now, <clears throat> Every camera has a little tiny red light which turns on and when you see that little tiny red light um, at the top of the camera, it means that is the camera that is active. That is the camera that is on, that's the view people are, you know, seeing you at. So when you're singing, you kind of have to sing to the audience and you have to keep an eye on which camera has the red light on so that you don't turn away from a camera that may be like behind you, you know what I mean? You kind of have to also perform to the camera with the red light. Now, there's someone in the back always like signaling, like over there, this camera or this camera, you know? So, but you kind of, there's just lots going on, you know? You have to kind of keep an eye on what cameras is, is, is on um, and which one you kind of want to play with. So, it's kind of a neat experience. Um, which is great, you know, for someone like me who had never done that at the time uh, before, like little Western Road Filipino boy. <laughs> I just, I can't watch an episode because, you know, I, I just think back of all these memories that they, they just automatically come back. It's not even a conscious choice. It just, my heart starts to beat and I get antsy and then, you know, if I, when I watch them sing and then it's time for the judges to deliberate, I just... I get, I, I gotta leave, I gotta leave the room, you know, um, and uh, I, I just remember being in the, sh 
being in the show, auditioning first um, in May 25th. That was when we lined up. It was a two-day lineup in Toronto. Um, and it was a massive, massive, massive line. Um, <clears throat> and just from that day on, moving on to the next level, to the next, to the next, you know, watching friends kind of drop away from the competition, um, and then reaching top 100, which was crazy, you know, like the boot camp period, which was insane, because, you know, people were flying in from the best singers from all over Canada were flown into Toronto to compete, and they were just kind of like chopping everybody off, and people were crying, and, you know, people were flying in and then being sent home the next day, you know, and, and, even my parents, who came to support me um, at the time, they were like comforting the families and the contestants that were competing, you know. Um, and it really was uh, just a very, very um, intensive experience, you know. Very fulfilling, but also very intensive. Um, I don't know how these like 15 and 16 year olds can do it, because at the time I was 21, but... Whew, it really, it really got to the point where I was dreaming every night about Idol. Like I would, I would dream that I'd be singing on an episode and then, you know, Seth Jordan would come to me and be like, Mikey, that was a horrible, horrible performance, 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 performance. Then I would wake up in a cold sweat in the Idol mansion. Every night, I lie to you not, every single night I would have n nightmares about Idol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the way it was for any of the other idols. I'm sure it was because there was just so much drama going on behind the scenes, you know, good and bad. Um, uh, you know, just certain like relationships forming and just so much. It's just so much to take. Um, I remember making the top 32 um, and there was a, you know, psychiatrist kind of like a psychologist um, on the side f that was there for us um, in case we needed to talk. You know, and at the, at the time, I, I was like, okay, well, what's that for? But then as the competition uh, progressed, I'm like, I need to talk to you. I like talk to him every day. Whenever I saw him pass by, I would grab him. I'd be like, I need, your, I need you right now. <laughs> you know, it was just, it really is that, was that intense. Um, and... Um, not too many people know that, you know, from the TV end, uh, watching from, at, from home, uh, it looks big enough, um, but really, to be honest, from someone who's been on the other end of, of the camera, it's, it's really, I would say, like 10 times bigger than it appears. We were totally scheduled, you know, for, um... For, for just, com for rehearsals, for everything, for, uh, shoot, you know, for shooting B-roll, interviews, um, and then of course we did the commercial endorsements, it was just constant, and, you know, a lot of people also don't know that for these themed shows, we actually have to sit in a room together and listen to songs that they have cleared falling in that category. Now, for the Motown uh, week, you know, we had to sit and listen to two or three whole CDs of, like, Motown songs. And, you know, we had a piece of paper on which songs we wanted to do, you know, for that week and all of that. And, you know, the vocal coach helped us narrow our choices down. But really, like, it really was just it, a lot, you know. Um, and by the time we got back to the Idol Mansion, we were exhausted, you know, and I remember some of my family members mentioning that as every episode went by, I looked more and more tired, <laughs> because I guess I was, like, losing sleep, maybe, I don't know, um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it really was a test for the body, the mind, emotions, um, and your spirit. Still, I would never take the experience back for anything in the world. It was just, it really helped me grow as a person. Um, definitely skyrocketed in my career um, and in show business. And it was a wonderful experience, you know. Um, I was lucky enough to be one of uh, three people in my two-day lineup 
to uh, make the top 10 that year um, and the only male in that line to make the top 10 that year so I, I really feel blessed to have been able to experience the show in its fullest you know um, and I, I do miss the other idols people co continually ask me um, if I keep in talk in touch with some of the other idols um, I do um, I here and there keep in touch with Billy Clipper came third um, I've run into Gary Beals um, downtown came second that year um, and just you know we're all connected through Facebook so sometimes I'll creep their pages uh, check out how they are and I really do miss them all because you know we went through this very intense experience together and we were season one so like even the production was kind of like going making things up as we went along so it was just such a wonderful wonderful thing um, I remember on the night that I was eliminated I could feel that I was gonna be eliminated <laughs> um, but at the time I I, I welcomed it because um, it really was getting intense and <clears throat> you know I was just ready to go out there into the world and like begin my music career you know um, and use what I had uh, been given from the show and apply it to uh, starting a career in music um, but I remember Audrey de Montigny oh, who I've also kept in touch with uh, who came fourth or fifth um, and we've done a concert together. Uh, we, she told me on the night that I was eliminated, because I told her that I wasn't, I felt like I was going to be eliminated. And, uh, she told me, if you do get eliminated, Mikey, just smile. Smile, smile, smile. Because it'll be the last time that people will see you on the show, um, as a contestant. And it just, it's, it, it, it feels good, you know. Um, and I did. You know, I smiled, I bowed, I said, thank you, Canada, for making my dreams come true. I promise, Canada, this will not be the end. You will see me again. Um, and I've been keeping that promise uh, pretty well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and that's what happened. When the camera shut off, I went backstage and bawled my freaking eyes out. I was bawling, 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 like crying 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 why not because I didn't uh, go on to the next level not at all I was like pff, blown away being that far you know um, <clears throat> especially being in the top 10 that was just cream uh, but I was bawling because I knew I would I would miss the whole idol monster I knew I would miss the production I would miss uh, CTV the TV people I would miss the crew I would miss obviously the other idols who you know we went through this entire thing together um, and uh, it just it, it really really was such an amazing experience um, and being able to go back home was kind of crazy because you know you don't really see how big it is in terms of like the advertising and the marketing until you actually go out in public because in the idol mansion they're kind of like were secluded from everybody else, um, but you know, like seeing the big posters um, on buses and stuff, and like seeing yourself on TV. <laughs> I, I'd be sitting eating popcorn with my friends who I hadn't seen for a long time, and all of a sudden pff, I'd be on TV, and you know, just random, random randomness like that. Anyways, that's all. This video is running long now, so um, I know American Idol is running now. Um, and although I can't watch an episode, I wish all of the contestants the best of luck and um, my best advice to anyone who is trying out for any idol show or any like talent competition is to stay true to who you are. Um, they're obviously looking for more than just talent. Um, it is a TV show and essentially you need to kind of highlight aspects of your character and your story um, to create a character. I mean, this is what you have to do anyways in the music business. You have to create a persona, you know, and those that appeal the most to um, the audience tend to do the best, you know, not necessarily those with the best voice. Um, 
But, uh, but anyways, yeah, so that's my advice to them. Um, best of luck, and thanks, guys, for watching. Please subscribe to um, our videos, and uh, do take care.